Good morning. Um, this is part two of our uh, air conditioning clean and check. It's um, a bit cool, but I'll show you a trick about um, checking a unit when it's this cool. I don't know, I'd say it's about eh, high 50s maybe here. All right, part two. We found out in part one that we had some, some thermostat wire that was rather light. We had 20 gauge. This is 18 gauge, 18 gauge. So it's called 18-4. We have four conductors here. Um, if we had five wires, it'd be 18-5. But this is 18 gauge. Um, this will not break like 20 gauge does. This particular um, setup here on this wire also has a bare uh, ground if we needed it. And look at it has some very fine foil that is around that is around this. Why is this particular um, wire like this? This is shielded low voltage. If they were worried about um, other magnetic fields affecting this low voltage, you would buy this. This is going to cost more, of course, so it's very specific. We are going to use this inside to change the wire from the furnace to the thermostat. We're going to do that um, a little bit later on. The next thing we're going to show you is that this, um, I call it a start bomb. Um, Subco is a very good uh, name, by the way. We've had good luck with this. This is a, you wouldn't call it a formal hard start kit, but it's inexpensive enough and does the job where I would suggest you put them on every job. Um, it helps it helps it assist the unit in starting up. How does it do that? This part of this hard start um, kit has a starting capacitor here. Okay, this is the start capacitor with this big light plastic. On the top here is a thermistor. Thermistor is an electronic device that regulates voltage based on, or regulates, yes, regulates itself based on the voltage, the amperage, it gets hotter or cooler. I have seen these actually just explode later on because the thermistor has been doing its job, overheats and boom, nothing left on it, they catch on fire. But uh, Subco's a good brand, we haven't had trouble with uh, Subco at all. The way we do this, and you will see it later on, we are going to put one lead on the common of the combination capacitor. The other lead goes on the COMP terminal, compressor terminal, and we hang it. Or we put a screw through this somewhere um, inside the control box. We'll take a look at that. What we do next, um, belly band heater, crankcase heater, okay. Essentially it looks like a uh, big hose clamp, okay. You can see how it's designed. This is going to heat up. The heat is going to be transferred to the fins on the belly, the bottom part of the compressor. Remember, a belly band heater heats up the oil, boils off any bits of liquid refrigerant in the uh, bottom of the compressor. This, what this does then on startup, especially now in May, we had a cool night last night. There's probably some liquid in that oil. When, when this unit starts up and you have those, those bits of liquid um, refrigerant in the oil, it like foams up. It's like uh, when you open up a, a can of Coke, it'll just foam up. We don't want that because that foam will go into the system. Now there's no oil left to uh, lubricate the, um, uh, the compressor. This will go on on the bottom. We'll show you that. This goes on L1 and L2. It goes on the line side. In other words, this is going to be heating all the time. Do not make the mistake of putting it on T1 and T2. It goes on L1 and L2. We'll show how to do this later on. Uh, if you remember, last time we were here, there was a lock that was in here. Some neighborhoods, uh, people want to lock up their disconnect because sometimes neighbors get in and fool around with this. Uh, the lock's been cut off, so that's good. We can get into this now. I'm going to pull this because we're going to work in here. 
I don't want any any problem, and we'll test to make sure that um, there is no voltage going in there because we're going to be we're going to be touching a few things. So um, the uh, customer has taken care of that. By the way, this is a nice, convenient way of hanging up our um, our gauges. All right, we don't want the gauge. Now this is all concrete. But most of the time. Uh, the condensers in mud, and I don't want my gauges getting in the mud. Okay, I paid too much money for these. Lastly, uh, customer is Laura. She's the uh, service manager at North Star. Um, salesman came in, said, um, uh, "We have this new product. We want you to try it out." So what they do is they give us a couple cans, and we try it out. Essentially, this is a um, it's a refrigerant in here, but it contains an oil that is supposed to be very good uh, for the compressors. We want to see if it is going to save us energy or whatever. Uh, many times a product comes out, the salesman comes, visits us, gives us, a, gives, us gives the contractors a few of them to, to check out. Laura wants us to uh, install this in the system, so we're going to plan on, on doing that too. So we have, we have a couple of things to do. Oh, and... And lastly, once we get everything in and up and fired, um, I want to show you a trick about the problem when, when, when we get on a, um, a call and it's in the 50s like this, how can we get that head pressure up um, to see if we house our, our refrigerant? Well, I'll show you a trick where we can get the head pressure up to about, um, well, this is a 22 unit. So we'll be able to get that, that head side, the high side, up to, let's see, 22, to about 80 degrees. I'll show you that trick later on. All right, so we got a few things to do here today. There you go. Okay. We've taken the screws out. You can see how we've propped this up. We pulled the disconnect. We've taken the um, the uh, um, the cover off the control uh, compartment. All right, we trust nobody. We are going to test for voltage in here. So um, I have I have my voltmeter here. We're going to set it. I'm going to have you test. Okay, we have. See how that is coming in. You test here and there for voltage. Put one terminal on one, one terminal on the other, and we're going to check L1 and L2 is what we're checking. All right, you have it there? Yes. Nothing. Okay. See? So we know there's no voltage. While we're here, take one hand, pull one lead off, and go to ground, which is just a, the plate. Just put it on the metal down there. That's it. No voltage there. Put that back to the terminal you were at before. Take this hand off and put it on the ground someplace. There you go. Okay, so we know that we don't have 240, and we've checked each. Terminal. We have checked L1 to ground and L2 to ground just to make sure. All right, so we know it's dead. Okay, now stay down there. We're going to put this power boost, if you will, start boost. Now, Look on the terminals right here. Do you see? We're looking for one that says C. We're looking for one that says C O M P. Now, I have a flashlight if that'll help you. Do you see it there? They should be marked. This they one says home. That's hermetic. That's hermetic for fan, the compressor. Fan. Okay, that means that this, this is C. Okay. All right. One of these goes on H E R M, hermetic compressor. The other one goes on C. All right. So you put them on one on here, one over there. Let's see how that goes. No. Swing it around and have the double clip. Have that that clip go toward the center. Yeah, because I'm I'm afraid it's going to pop off, and I do not want to do that. That's that's it. 
Good. Okay. And this one. Yep. Got it on there? Put that double clip. Is, is there a double clip on that one? No, that one's just... All right, now. See, it's not gonna be able to go here because we won't be able to close it again. We're gonna have to... Is there some way we can put this in like that? There it is, all right, so it's standing there. Good, good, good. All right, now. And stand up. On the, on the knees. All right, we're going to put this belly band heater, at least for now, we're going to put this belly band heater in here. For now, we're going to take out this insulation, which is more acoustic, okay, and put that on the side. We have this. We take this out. Okay. I need somebody to come here put this around. It's going to go above there, right. but underneath here, and have the connection right in this area. You with me? Yep. This this is going to be in this area. I'll get out of the way here. Now, it's got to go behind those wires. You don't want to clamp those wires. Across. That's it. That's it. Oh, there, there you go. Yes. Uh, we're going to need a... Okay, you're slipping it in? Yeah, it's the wires got wrapped around all that. There we go. No, we don't want to pinch the wires. No, it's just fixing it. That's it, that's it. Oh, I'm sorry, no it's not. We have to pull that out. It goes underneath the screw. All right, now, lift up, there you go. Now. It's gonna go in this way, there you go. Go now you here. put down the screw. Now you put down the screw. Now you tighten it. Now I don't know if that's 5 16 See if it is. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Now you just take your time. Um, you're tightening it, but we don't want to strip it. Well, no, we don't want to strip it. Plus, we don't want to have any wires underneath it. You have to make sure when you're done, we're going to check this. This thing has to be that way. It's got to be that flat because it will start to pull that. There you go. There you go. See, we want to make good contact with that belly because that's where the heat transfer is, right? And we want to heat up that oil. Yes? No? This wire is in the way. It's not under it. Yeah, all right, all right. How's it doing? Is it tightening or are you loosening? It's tightening a little. Uh, here, let me get you this one. Would this be easier to use? Thank you, sir. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Yeah, it is, good, keep going. Yes, no? Yep. Oh, no, too loose. You should not be able to move it, is my point. I'm not saying, you know, break it, but it shouldn't be. Uh, 
Alright, try it again now. There you go. Okay, now. So, it's nice and tight in there. You have gone underneath. I'm just checking. I don't want to have any wires smashed. By all means. You with me? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to loosen it a bit. I want to just adjust this. Um, it's really, it's, it's, it's right next to this. I want to get that up just a hair. There we go. So we, so we want to put that heater right under uh, the terminal box, Mr. Water. Well, and this for this compressor. I mean, every compressor is not like this. Now, I don't like this. Do you see how that wire is right on the edge of that? Mm -hmm. Not good. All right, I'm going to bend this away. Do you see what I just did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, these wires, I need somebody to grab these underneath this coil. Oh, boy. See, we have to get these into the control box. How are we going to be able to do that? Is there... Is there a way we can... Hmm. Where is the hole to come through? Right there. It's over over and through the top where the fan is. Is that the yeah, closest yeah. one that's we the, have? That's the electrical opening right there. Oh, here's a hole. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so... What we do, there's a hole that goes into the compartment that's right in here, okay? So let's see if we could lead this over underneath there. You know what? We're going to have to take... There we go. I'm going to take this screw off right here. See what I'm doing? You guys can see either over my shoulder or over there. So, see what's going on? I'm going to loosen this, and this back panel is going to come off. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Mike, did you have any uh, permits? Hi, Steve. What? Did you have enough permits for this department? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. In fact, let, let me give you a... Well, maybe I should keep it until at the yeah. end. Just, and if you need any more, just let okay. me Okay, thanks. All right, let's so we'll take the screw off. There we go, there we go. All right. I don't have to take this off entirely. Our wires here. We're going to feed the wires underneath the coil. Right there. There we go. There we go. You see what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. So I have the, I have those wires. Get the other one. Come on. There we go. There's a hole. There's a hole right. Right there. Do you see that hole? Right there? Yes? No? No. See where I'm pushing it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can make this a shorter. Oh. Here's one coming through. Okay. You see what I'm doing now? Yeah. Okay. So, we have led the wires underneath, gotten into this cavity here, and I've brought them through a hole in this wall down there and I have to go to L1 and L2. Now, I don't have to go to L1 and L2 on the on the contactor. There are wire nuts. You might want to take a look at it over here over my left shoulder. Here we go. Yeah, you guys got to see it this on this side. Get this out of the way. 
the green is ground. I don't, I don't care. But see, see this red coming, coming from here. Here's the red. All right, you can see it right here. Well, get this out of the way for now. I'm going to take this wire net off. I'm not worried about it because I pulled the disconnect and we yeah, tested. We'll check the yes, we did. All right, so here are. I'm going to take this, put it with this. Okay, see that? Take my time. Now we're going to take. L1. It's going to be L1. See, because it's going to. Anytime this disconnect, I put in the disconnect, it's going to have power. This thing has to have power all the time. Okay. Now when I'm done, I tighten the wire nut. Tug, tug, tug. That wire nut's on tight. Okay. I have the other one I have to do. Well, two. Okay. That's this black one. See the black one? I'm gonna unscrew it. Okay. Put that in there. See how I have it? <coughs> So we make our connections at L1 and L2, not on the uh, contactor. Well, so. it's it's if I if this wire was long enough, I could go up to L1 and L2. But L1 and L2 are up here, and the wire literally is not long enough to get up there. Well, I have the wire nuts here. Why not go right into the wire nuts? Wire nuts go to L1 and L2. That's all I'm concerned about. Just do not go into T1 and T2. L1. I tighten that wire nut. Tug, tug, tug. We're ready. We slap this disconnect in. We got L1 and L2 to that. We'll be able to feel it get warm. Okay. Now put, we're going to put this back. We are done. We're going to put this in here. We are done for now. Um, outside. I mean, done as far as wiring goes outside. All right. So I need you guys to put everything all back together. Um, yes, you're right. This has to be put back first. So somebody's going to come in here. There's there's a five sixteenths. Here's a five sixteenths. I get you a stubby five sixteenths. Here you go. Okay, we're inside. We put everything together uh, with the condenser. Now we're going to pull wire, low voltage wire. Um, we don't want to, one, ground the transformer, and two, kind of make us jump a little bit with the 24 volts. So I'm going to turn off the power to the um, furnace right here. And by the way, while I'm at it, I'm going to turn off the humidifier. There's no reason to have the humidifier on. That's a job that we do when we're doing a clean and check. So I'm going to turn this off. When we do a clean and check for heating, we'll turn the humidifier back on. So we've shut off um, line voltage to the transformer, to the furnace, to the transformer, and we're going to go upstairs and take a look at the uh, thermostat. All right, let's go up. All right, we're upstairs, uh, dining room. You can see we have the humidistat, thermostat, security. What we're going to do here, I take this off. I'm going to take it off the wall first. Then I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at the hole in the wall. We're going to, see, this wire is too light. I want to have heavier, heavier wire there. So, what gauge is that again? What's the one this here is 20 gauge. Okay. I want to put 18 in. So I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to do. Take this one off right here. And of course, hang on to this screw. This is 24 volts. We know it's fine. By the way, notice that there are two AA batteries. You should adv uh, advise the customer to change them about once a year. So I say just do it on January 1st. Or when we come in, you know, uh, a year from now to do a clean and check on their air conditioning, you can say, why don't you pick up a pack and I'll change the batteries and we'll reset the thermostat. I just had to do that for my mother in law yesterday, by the way. 
Um, she panicked when it got really hot, you know, what, three days ago, four days ago. And I said, just push this down to 71, hit hold, and I'll be there on the weekend. And that worked out. All right, save the screws because we're putting them right back in there. Just take your time. Okay, we pull this out the wall. You can see how big the hole is going through there. Uh, notice that there are plastic anchors. Good. We are going to remove this from the thermostat. Put the thermostat down here. Here, if we can put these screws. Can we put the screws over on the table and make sure we don't lose them? Okay. Now, special screwdriver. You can see how small the blade is on this screwdriver. We need that. Okay. Now, we're going to be careful. I want to take a look before I start unscrewing things. I want to make sure. Do you see this? yellow wire mm -hmm. it does in fact go to Y see the Y right there so you always want to check that okay now I thought this thermostat would need a, big, a smaller screwdriver but it really doesn't but this one's good enough so we know yellow wire goes to Y ah here we go here's green see that and there's G see the G mm -hmm. right there I'm gonna loosen that Blower. Right, G for the fan, okay. Let's see what else. Oh, there we go. There's there's W. White. See W? But we, we don't have a, a white conductor, so it's on black. You see that? Mm -hmm. All right. Is that automatic? What do you mean automatic? You say, you say we don't have a white one, so it's on black? Well, we don't have a white conductor. Right. There's no white colored conductor. Right, what would, white, what would the white one be? If there was a white conductor, you would you would have it normally hooked to W, right? W for white. But we don't have a white conductor, so we chose to use our black conductor on W. So you make a mental note of that. When we come back here, all right, we're taking that off. Now, I got one wire to go. We're going to be really careful. This thing doesn't go whoop, flying right back in. All right, so here's, here's red on R. In fact, this is R... H and this is RC and there's a jumper. Some thermostat, well I told you about thermostat, sometimes um, you'll have a situation where there's a boiler with one transformer and an air handler with another transformer. Well the boiler would be on RH, we take this jumper out of the way, the, um, the um, air handler would be on RC, but that's not the case here. We have a furnace and we have one Transformer. All right, I pull this out carefully. Now we got to make sure this thing doesn't fly back. There's no pressure on it as such, and I've bent it a little bit. Okay. Now we have to get that wire that's down. I'll take take care of that spool of wire down there. Okay. What we're going to do when we're done, or what's going to happen now, is he's getting the spool of the 18 gauge. Um, thermostat wire. We're going to attach that to this wire and then and then we'll go downstairs and I'll show you what's involved. Okay? Here's, if you just put that down. Here's, and here's your spotlight. Like I peeled back um, covering for this wire. I'm going to clip it off. Now, we peel back the covering on this. <clears throat> you can see what we've done. What's, you see the arm? Uh, should show the, the uh, difference in the wire. Uh, oh, well, here. Yeah. Sure. See, see how, I mean, I can see it. Can yeah, you see the physical see, difference? Yeah. A lot thinner. A yeah. lot thinner. A lot thinner. And you just, just by looking at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not, do not use 20 gauge. It's just too light, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a loop. See that? I'm going to take that and do this. 
I'm going to twist this around. Strip this a little bit more. Twist this around. Okay, twist this around. Clip off all the extra. Alright, first off, clip off the plastic here. Boom. Okay, you can see what I'm doing here. Clip off the extra wire here. Now, I'm not done yet. Make this smaller. See how I've scrunched that down? I'm going to go downstairs, get some electrical tape, and I'll be right back. All right, got some electrical tape. All right, you always want to have some in your toolbox. Got some electrical plastic over here. Now, I'm just going to start here. I don't care where I start, but what I do want to do is make it tight. Because I'm going to be pulling this through a hole. I don't want anything to get in the way. So I go Grab down. I don't want it to snag on anything. I mean, the tape is relatively Hello, speaking. Man. How you doing? Hey, Hello, Ms. Customer. <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Think it's cold enough out there? As long as yeah. it's dry. As long as it's dry. The one like have, it was yesterday. We have most of the outside done. We're just doing the inside now. How's, um, how's the feeding of the... That's what we're just getting ready to do. How bad is it? Can we get out of the way? It won't be bad. It'll work out. Okay. We have it nice. Notice, nice and slick, guys. Right? Okay. So, I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to take a look at where this comes through the floor downstairs. Okay? So let's go downstairs, all of us. Yeah, we're pulling it now. All right. Is it dust coming out? It's not coming down. Hold on, hold on. It might be a different wire. Is that Yeah. Do you have another brown one there? No. What we're going to do now is wire the new wire that we pulled. Um, down to the uh, furnace. We have to wire the new wire to the thermostat that we have, all right? So you give yourself a good fudge factor here, right? We don't want it under tension because you have it under tension, it'll pull right in, all right? Mm -hmm. The way the way that I strip this, a lot of guys like to try to strip this wire that way. I don't like doing that because you tend to get into the, the um, conductor that way and you strip that. So what I do is I take one and the pliers and I strip it like that okay now I get all the extraneous stuff out of the way okay I don't need this hanging around at least not for my application in any case all right by the way here's a good example if it was muddy outside or my tools were bad, I'd take off my sweatshirt, lay it on the uh, floor, put my tools on the sweatshirt, okay, to protect this floor. If I had to. Or I have a runner that's four feet by six feet, and I use that. All right, I have four conductor wire, that's what I wanted. Okay. I'm going to strip. Now, remember how I bent this and pulled it and all that? I'm going to clip that stuff off. I don't want to have any problem. All right, so I have four conductor wire. Strip it. Three eighths, roughly. Yeah. 
Gotta strip. There we go. Gotta be careful. Some guys do this with their uh, thumbnail. My thumbnails aren't that strong, so I just you gotta be careful stripping these because you can nick the copper and then it'll break off. So it's gotta be careful. You gotta learn a little technique there. All right, when it come through. All right, we remember R goes on R. Okay, red goes to red, right guys? Yeah. Uh, I get my screwdriver. So you would recommend having a small screwdriver like that instead of just a regular standard screwdriver well, for the so thermostats? Well, this thermostat's too big. I, I mean, the, the, the screwdriver is too big for those screws. So I'll go back to my light one. Um, I didn't think I needed my pocket screwdriver. My pocket screwdriver is about the perfect one for this. All right, so I put it in here. This is one you need three hands. Anyway, remember, we don't want to fingerprint the wall, right, guys? Major mm -hmm. sin doing that. Don't fingerprint the wall. Learn to do this without fingerprinting the wall. Okay, R to R. Let's see, we have G around here someplace. G, yeah, that's, that's C. Oh, there's C, here's G. G is that loose one, so we're gonna go green into that. That's the G terminal there? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now, if you remember, the previous wire didn't have white. Mm -hmm. Didn't have white. Mm -hmm. We didn't have it yellow. Though. It, had, it had the black. But and it had heating. a yellow, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what are we going to do here? For this wire, we're going to say white to W and black yeah, to Y. To yeah. Okay. We're going to go white here. The W is right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so my point is make it as easy for the next guy as you can, right? White conductor to W. Because you'll really confuse them when you start putting, you know, otherwise. That's, you know, because the next guy probably is going to be you. If the customer likes you and you know the equipment, your service manager will probably send you back to that call for the clean and check or... Maybe the homeowner will say, well, send Mike. He knows what, where everything is. You don't want to confuse yourself on this whole thing either. Come on. Big fingers, small area. Patience, grasshopper. There we go. Okay. Finally, we're going to go black into Y, correct? Mm -hmm. That's what we decided. We have to remember that when we go downstairs. Gotta be careful that we do it right on the wire too. I'm gonna bend this wire a little bit there. Okay, let's make sure everything's good. White, green, just give them a little tug. Good, good, and good. Okay, and notice we can put this back in, right? Now, we need those screws. <coughs> On the table. Are they over there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Remember we put in plastic, the plastic anchors? See, now I'm not touching the wall at all. Learn to do that. 
again with plastic anchors, if you go with plastic anchors, you can redo something like this. See how I can just put it right back into that? Now I'm not going to tighten this down. Yeah, it's right there. It's not going to be easy. thermostat does not have to be level. Just cosmetically it has to be level. It does not have to be level for for uh, operating. It's got a solid state device called a thermistor. This thing could literally be hanging off the wall and work fine. I have done them vertically. I've turned the thing 90 degrees. Sometimes there wasn't any other way of mounting the thermostat. So is it thermistor an electronic device that usually replaces the uh, the mercury? Bimetal mercury? The bimetal mercury one, the round one, Honeywell. Okay. T87F. How does that look, guys? Is that pretty good? That level? Looks pretty, looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to set it for cool. Remember, it's not... The switch is off downstairs, remember? I'm going to set it to cool and for 59. Wow, 59. Okay, somebody wanted it cool. All right, so now we go downstairs, we do the wiring down there. I'm gonna pick up some garbage right here and we're done upstairs here. <clears throat> Clean our area as we go. Oh yes, now you pull that, what's in your hand? All right, we're filming you. Okay, mm -hmm. so back. what we're doing here is we have, we have pulled the unwanted wire out and then see it's wrapped around there we go alright there's that can I have that needle nose thanks we're getting this out of the way so it doesn't confuse us then it comes down here, and I'm just going to pull it straight through and out. There we go. We have it right here. Now, this is important to keep here. So just, just hang on for a second here. Now, the other side, I'm not going to worry about untaping that. So what? I'm just going to, boom, get it out of the way. Now, we have to feed this back in here. Down here, come on. There we go. Now we don't want anything touching sharp edges. I am not worried about this extra wire here. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Gonna strip this back like we've done before, guys. So what I do, I grab it like that, I grab it here, and then I pull it away. Try it again. Come on. Okay. Get rid of all the extra stuff that we don't need. Care of these ends. Boom. All right. Now I'm going to strip it again. <clears throat> We're real close to firing this baby up. We gotta remember black off so uh, I'm up there. Well, let's find out. See, now here we are. Oh, look at this, bogus. Oh guy, right here. See how look at this. Look at that. 
Let's see what they did. See that? Bogus. Okay. Now, what was the? What did we do on this stuff, guys? Made it all green to green. All right. Now, before you do anything else, we're gonna go. There's the green, right? Exactly. Oh, look at that. See, I don't. I don't. What are really those? Do. Um, these are couplings. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do? Let me get over here. I'm gonna use wire nuts. Those they used a mechanical coupling, and, and I don't do that. I use my wire nuts here. All right, but we do. My point is, let's do what we know. We know green to green, correct? Green right. nut. All right, so we're going to do this. Just concentrate on green. Strip it a back a bit. Boom. All right, this is green. Let's get it out where we can see it and work with it. Let's get it out where we can see it. There's green, right? Mm -hmm. Match them together. A little blue. Wire nut. Come on. Come on. Alright, I'm going to have to strip it. It's still good. i got to strip it a little bit more. It means it's not tightening up, but I don't like that. I want it to tighten up. You mean the wire's too long? No, the bare, it's not bare enough. So. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Say that. So let's just prepare it a little bit like that. Try it again. Push, push, come on. There we go. Tug, and then tug on the other one. Good. Okay, red. We red can do goes. red, can't we? Yep. Mm -hmm. Red to red. All right. Well, I'm going to clip that red. baby right there. When you're doing this stuff, don't get distracted. Your phone rings. Forget about it. Okay? Wait a second, can I get in on some of this action right here? So, um, because we're changing color. Okay. I'd rather. Mm -hmm. Okay. There will be other filmings. This will be this will be when you want to have all the fun on this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I just remember we were changing out a the thermostat. And we'll just have the, the guilty person um, will remain anonymous right now. But they uh, did this, and we went to test it. Okay. <laughs> and we turned on the fan, and the outside unit popped on. Now, you know, it's not supposed to do that, okay? But we won't mention any names, will no we, names Mr. Will, we <laughs> will we, will we, Mr. Rainer? We <laughs> uh, yeah, the compression coming on in the middle of winter time isn't really a good thing. <laughs> I thought that was funny, actually. Okay, guys. Now that the white goes to the white, and the black um, to the yellow. All right, we have, we have this. Okay, here's what what we had. What did we say? We have we said black for white, black, black, no black for yellow. Well, wait. Here's here's we have yellow and black to do. That's what upstairs was. Was white, we had a yellow one again. Well, well, yeah. The white, black, black is yeah, yellow. Was black. Yeah. Black is it? Black is black cooling is, speed. Yeah. Black is for our cooling. All right, black is no, for cooling. Is, yeah. yeah. So you're saying I can put this on that on black, this, right? right? Exactly, because our white is for our, our heating. Okay. Deal with one wire at a time. Come on. There we go. 